What's up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. We have a new event just started yesterday. It's gonna last for 12 days. It's the first anniversary event for Shadowgun Legends. One year already, guys, in about 10 days. Uh, it's pretty crazy, it went super fast. So the main reward of the anniversary event is a brand new legendary pistol. Last stand is the name of the new pistol. And yes, it is a legendary you can get as a reward. Today, we will look at how you get it and I will share with you guys all my tips so you guys can get it quick and easy. First, let's take a quick look at the pistol. It's actually pretty good, guys. Compared to the one I have equipped right now, the latest legendary pistol Spectrum, it has a little bit less damage per bullet, but faster fire rate, and the range and accuracy is 50% higher. So 15 instead of 10, the range, and 1.2 instead of 0.8 on the accuracy so it is a very nice pistol the bad thing is you can only get one and if you roll bad perks which are random there's nothing you can do about it exactly like the slates dauntless i got super unlucky guys no damage on the base damage and no crit damage so not much i can do for now hopefully we can re-roll the perks in the future they said the infusion system will evolve with the game so fingers crossed but for now it's more of a collectible anyways because pistols in the state of the game right now we don't use much it's not so strong for pvp the other thing is they nerfed gunslinger pretty good so even in pve we almost never use pistols now how are you gonna get that pistol you have to go talk to slade and he's going to give you missions Actually, you have to do six chain quests. First time I did go talk to Slade, it did not have the missions for me. So if it happens to you, it's the same like we had in the Valentine event, where you had to go talk to Sarah to get the chain quest. If they're not there, just do one of your operation missions that you already have to do. And after you're done, go talk to Slade again. He's gonna have some quests for you. Perfect Synergy is the first chain quest you have to do. Play three missions in co-op. So there's not much to it guys, no tips for that. All you gotta do is, you can squad up with a friend and do, to do it quick, you just do three operation missions with a friend. Or you can do it with randoms, but it's usually about a minute or two to do an operation. Now once you're done, go back, talk to Slade, he's gonna give you your rewards. It's 500 fame and 10 skulls, which is the new currency for the uh, 12 days event. Next up is get 10 headshots with a pistol, not much to it again. And the reward that is better next time is a yellow jacket machine gun with a super nice custom paint. Now for that one, not much again. I went solo because you don't want to do co-op and have someone steal all your kills. You want to take your time and aim for the head. Uh, I did go with pistol damage gloves, crit gloves, and I even got some buffs from the bar to get extra damage. But seriously, take your time and aim for the head. You can easily get more than 10 headshots in one mission if you do solo. Now go back to Slade and claim your reward. You have a brand new machine gun, yellow jacket. I'll take a look into it later this week, but it is beautiful and you get 600 fame on top of that. Next one is Master Exploder is the third chain quest. You gotta get the explosion kills ribbon, 25 kills with explosion. Best way to do that, grenades, rocket launcher and go into well some guys do arena if you have to do the whole 25 bronze arena is really quick that's what i did on my second time but i only needed something like 12 or 15 to get my ribbon because what you did before the mission it counts so as long as you get the ribbon the reward is done so go into a mission or bronze arena because the enemies are weak Now you can spam the rocket on weak enemies it's gonna get you easy kills try to get multi kills if you can like group them together and as soon as you see the ribbon pop up it's done once again go back to slate claim your reward 700 fame this time and more skulls next one is the one where some people get stuck win two duels in a row at least it's not three. Two duels in a row is manageable. Now I got lucky. I faced a rocket launcher noob in duels and I got two wins in a row. But just kidding. It was Josh and he trolled me a little bit. Uh, but yeah, if you're stuck and you cannot get two wins in a row, uh, the only tip I can give you guys is you can play with a friend, uh, do a friendly duel and apparently it will count. It was confirmed. Usually for these challenges, you have to go through Nitro. You cannot do friendlies. But in that one, uh, apparently you can so uh, good to know right 
Now, win two duels in a row will give you a baseball cap. It's a Shadow Gun Legends cap, and it's a reissue of the pre-registration cap. Next one, get 30 kills with skills. Now, what the hell is that? Quick way to do it, I guess, is grenade, a sentry gun, AM bomb. Some guys say EMP and stuff, but I don't want to confirm. But definitely AM bomb, guys. AM bomb is the way to get quick, easy skill kills. Now, what you do is try to find a mission which has a lot of enemies right at the start because your skills are ready at the start. So, uh, this mission I know very well. I kill the first two enemies and then I throw my AM bomb in the back, and there will be a lot of stuff there. Will get me at least five to ten kills and then when the am bomb is done i spam my grenades so i get a lot of easy kills there and then i just exit to hub and reload the same mission and do it again uh really fast but you can also do bronze or silver arena whatever you like with am bomb you're gonna get lots of easy kills now you're almost done get 30 skill kills will give you a thousand theme and 30 more skulls and that will be your last mission now guys the fastest gunslinger you have to get the pro pistol ribbon which is five kills with a pistol under 10 seconds so how are you gonna do that definitely supercharger guys because you want to get the kills if you can get buffs you go for buffs if you have pistol damage gloves go for your damage gloves high crit shoulders if you can anything that will help you deal more damage and once again that was a bit awkward but i did get it on my first attempt on stream yesterday uh i went for the same mission i got two kills at the start i did waste time you see i was missing shots but then if you get a pack of enemies aim for the head if you can and just supercharge and shoot other tricks guys that can help you a lot of players recommend voltaic fist in the chamber where you have the spiders that's an easy spot spiders are weak next spot would be arena where you have the spiders early in the silver arena but other than that guys the problem with arenas is you can get your kills stolen and same thing for voltaic fist so if you do solo missions find a mission with a lot of enemies and shoot in the pack and fingers crossed then that's pretty much it go back to slade to get the ultimate reward the last stand pistol is the last reward you get for finally completing all six challenges from slade in the anniversary event so you have 12 days to do all six challenges so if you get stuck somewhere ask for a friend for the duels i guess and the last thing may be the headshot with the pistols uh, take your time aim high and just do it again if you fell the first time now once you're done with all six missions you can still go back and redo these missions but you won't get the rewards you still get some skulls though you can collect skulls all week and you can use these skulls at pedro the shop now is refreshed we have a few paint cans uh, including a legendary killer yellow you also have tangerine dream and magnetic purple but you have a brand new chrome skulls epic custom camo and you have an epic sticker to commemorate the first anniversary of Shadowgun Legends. Now they also said we would have five new hats. I spotted four of the five new hats. Uh, there are two at Pedro and two at Big Red. The first one is Infinity Racer. It is a rare hat. The second one is Neon Biker. And they all look kind of similar for the back at least. But the front is got some variations the eyes are not the same or the top will be different they have some different colors but yeah two at pedro and the other two are at big red but you have to scroll way back at the end of the list so radiant speeder and photon drifter uh two more rare hats so all four i've seen so far are rare and again you see the visor is different so i don't know uh, which one's your favorite and also let me know in the comment if you spotted the fifth one uh, it could be the one from the bundle they said five different hats and the bundle has a hat also so we're gonna take a look at it later now these hats you have to buy with gold 500 gold each uh, to get free gold you can watch ads you can do offers from the offer wall uh, or try to get a gift from a friend i guess but that will be it for today hope you guys enjoyed the tips and the video last stand legendary pistol now available for only 12 days and i think after that it's gone so good luck everyone let me know in the comment if you have good perks better than me i hope because mine is pretty bad but hey what can you do like i said it's a collectible i think it's beautiful now once again thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more shadowgun legends news gameplay and guides don't forget to hit the like watch my other videos I'll be back soon. Take care.